Have you ever been taking some sort of skirted bait, whether it's a jig or a spinner bait or a bladed jig, and you roll cast it and flip it up underneath some cover really fast and that skirt comes off? Well, we're gonna talk about how to fix that situation today. Hi there, welcome to the Bass Fishing Life. I'm your host, Steve Rogers. Hey, make sure that you punch that subscribe button and hit that notification bell here on the channel. Thank you so much. Well, I've got a spinner bait here today, and I don't know about you, but I like to take spinner baits, uh, bladed jigs, or regular skipping jigs, and I like to really give those things a hard roll cast and shoot them up underneath a dock or underneath some overhanging limbs. And sometimes the skirts can just come down, okay? They don't stay up where they should, and especially if you've got some older baits and maybe that traditional little rubber band that they put on there is starting to get dry rotted a little bit. I mean, we've all had problems with a skirt on a bait. Now, a lot of baits out there in the market today, like this one, are starting to improve the way the skirts hook to the actual head of the jig or the spinner bait. Like this one has got a molded in fitting to it that slips up and over the lead on here really, really well. But I don't know about you, I still have hundreds of spinner baits and jigs that have the old traditional rubber band and they slip down quite often. So today we're gonna talk about how to make sure that's never an issue for you again. And for those of you that live up north, this is kind of a nice little winter project that you can do while you're watching football games or, or whatever it might be. So here, this is actually the inside of a twist tie, believe it or not. Uh, but this is a little bit of a pain to get out, but I really like the, the flexibility and the stiffness that this has. But another great option is to go to the craft section of your favorite store and pick up some floral wire, F-L-O-R-A-L, -L, floral wire. The same type of wire uh, that florists use when they're making arrangements and that type of stuff. It's really cheap. You can get a lot of it for just a few dollars and cut off about this much of it, okay? Next thing that I'm going to do is take that floral wire and I'm going to go ahead and wrap it around where the skirt actually hooks to the jig or the spinner bait or whatever it might be and get some of these strands out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it to it, put it around it and give it a little bit of just a twist to hold it in place, okay? Now I'm gonna take a pair of pliers just regular long nose pliers, and I'm going to give it a twist and a twist, just like this. Keep twisting it until it gets really, really snug. Boom, it's nice and snug. And then I can go ahead and take the side cutters and cut those off of there. And now this floral wire, or in this case, the inside of a twist tie, is really, really on here tight. That skirt can then pull back down and you will never, I promise you, you will never have a problem with the skirt coming off of that bait ever again. The cool thing about fishing is an old timer one time when I was fishing down on Lake of the Ozarks, a guy by the name of Bill Davenport, some of you from that area may know him or fished uh, with him or against him in the past. He once told me, he said, you know what? He goes, fishing is nothing more than a bunch of tips and tricks. And over a lifetime, you gather all these tips and tricks and it becomes what we call experience. And it's these little things like this that make our days on the water so much better. You can take 10 minutes of your day and probably do this to 10 or 12 or 15 different skirted baits and put them in your box and know that you can go ahead and really fire those things across the surface of the water. And when they hit, that skirt is always, always going to stay in place. I hope that this little tip works out for you and it's something that can make your days on the water more efficient and better. Hey, and don't forget to go out there and encourage someone today. You never know what a difference you're gonna make in their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.